All right, so I'm back. Now, I know my character looks the same, but all these elements are now a graphic symbol with their anchor points set to where I want them, which I hope you've done too. So if I go to the, my ponytail here, select that, you'll notice that the anchor point is at the back of the head. So when I rotate it, it makes sense. It's not at the center, but where it makes sense. Same thing for the body. I have it around the hips underneath this shirt. Same thing for the leg. Anchor point is set right where the hips are so that the leg can rotate properly. Now, let's get to these parts over here, the arm parts, the leg parts, the, all the positions. We need now, we have to get all these arm parts, which are just grouped objects, they're not symbols, inside our main graphic arm symbol here. So this is the way I've been doing it for years. If you have a different way, that's fine. Um, so what I'm going to do is I will select all those arm shapes, go up to edit, cut. I'll zoom into my arm graphic symbol here. I'm going to double click it. Now we're inside that arm graphic symbol right now. And if you look at the layer in the timeline, it's just a grouped object again, which is fine. Now, what I want to do is create a new layer by coming down to the to corner here to the new layer button, click it. And with it selected, go to edit, paste and center. And here are all my arm shapes. And I'm going to zoom out a little. And let's just move these down a little bit. Now, I want to be able to line up each one of these arms with the shoulder of our main arm here. But let's come down to our timeline, select that first layer, and these are keyframes here. I'm going to go to the next one next to it, and I'm going to go to Insert. blank, uh, insert timeline, blank keyframe. And it's going to create a keyframe with nothing on it. And I, since I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different arm positions for this character. I want to create seven blank keyframes. So I'll go to the next keyframe, insert, Timeline, blank keyframe. Go to the next keyframe. Insert, timeline, blank keyframe. A shortcut for that is F7. It creates a blank keyframe. You select it, F7. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, F7, seven, F7. Now there's nothing on them, but we're going to add our arm shapes to each one of these keyframes here. So let's go back to the first one. This first arm position is my reference to where my other arms are going to fall. So let's grab the first shape. I'll bring it up so that the shoulders is lined up with our first position. I'll cut that, edit, cut. Go to our timeline, select that blank first blank keyframe. And this time I'm gonna to go to edit, paste in place. So now we have these two arms perfectly lined up at the shoulder. So now I'm going to grab the next one, drag it up to our first, overlapping our first arm position, line up the shoulders so it makes sense, and I'll go to edit, 
cut, come down to our timeline on the first layer, select the next blank keyframe, go to edit, paste in place. And there's our next arm position. So if I start scrubbing through it, you'll see it makes sense there. It's rotating and moving along that around that shoulder joint. So let's grab our next arm, drag it up, line up the shoulders, edit, cut, grab the next keyframe, the blank keyframe in our timeline, edit, paste in place. And we're going to go all the way down the line, grabbing each arm, lining up the shoulder, cut it, select the blank keyframe, paste in place, and then go back, grab the next one. I'm using shortcuts now. Um, so if you grab that next arm, bring it up, line it up with the shoulder, Command Apple X or Command or Apple X is cut. Select your blank keyframe. Command Shift V is paste in place. Uh, if you don't want to do key, uh, shortcuts, you can just go up to Edit, Cut, Edit, Paste in Place. So let's go back and finish these two out. Drag it up, line up the shoulders. Command X, cut it, select that next blank keyframe, Command Shift V, paste in place. Let's go back, grab that last one, line up the shoulder, Command X, cut it, select the blank keyframe, Command Shift V, paste in place, and there you have it. Here is my first arm pack. And this is a very basic arm pack. Uh, for a full-blown character pack, you'd have many more arm positions to work with. But for our run cycle, this will do. Actually, I think only one arm position would work for our run cycle. But it's always good practice to learn how to do this. So this is our first character pack. Now, if we double-click the um, empty space out here, it takes us out of our, gra our graphic symbol and we're back at our main stage here. Now, we're gonna do that for the legs as well. The mouth and the hands, same method. So let's, let's concentrate on the leg now. Select all these leg shapes and they're just grouped objects and not symbols. Edit. Cut, let's grab our leg, it's a graphic symbol that we made, double click it to get inside it, and you'll see, just like the arm, here it is on its own layer. We're gonna come down here, create a new layer. With it selected, we're gonna go edit, paste in center, and here are our leg positions. We're gonna just move these down a little bit. So same thing, since I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different leg, um, seven new leg positions, I'm going to select our first layer in the timeline and create seven blank keyframes. So I'll select the next keyframe, go to insert, timeline, blank keyframe. There's our first one. Select the next one insert timeline blank keyframe so that's two now i'll do the shortcut select the next um, frame hit f7 there's a blank keyframe so that's three f7 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 that's one two three four five six seven that's all we need for now so now, same as before, 
This is our reference on our first position where the hip uh, rotation is going to be. So let's line up our first leg position to about right there. You might have to stretch them every once in a while. And All right, so now that it's lined up, I'm going to go to Edit, Cut, select that first blank keyframe, Edit, Paste in Place, and there it is. Let's go back. Grab the next position. Line up where the hip is, where it meets the hip. Edit, cut, select the blank keyframe, edit, paste in place. And there's the next one. And I'll come back, grab the next one, slide it up so that it, the leg meets the joint here. And I'm going to use the shortcut now, Command Apple X, select that blank keyframe, Command Shift V, paste in place. Let's go back and do the rest of them. Line it up, Command X, cut it, select the blank keyframe, Command Shift V, paste in place. And let's just finish these out. See, this is a different one. I drew this a little off. You'll notice that the foot doesn't line up. So for this, all I'm going to do is line up where the hip is with our free transform tool selected, holding down the option, and I'll just kind of transform it, squash it a little bit so that it, the foot lines up with the, uh, our base leg shape here. So select it, Command X, cut it, select the blank keyframe, Command Shift V, paste in place. And I have these extra shapes, which I might not use, but we'll do it anyway. This is as if he's lifting his leg up pretty high. Put it around where you want it, Command X, cut it. Grab the blank keyframe, Command Shift V is paste in front. And our last one, no, oh, the last one is actually pretty much a duplicate of the first one. So I guess we don't need that one. So I'm going to delete that one and delete that keyframe. Actually, I'll just leave the keyframe for now. It's fine. And there are our leg positions for a run cycle. Now they're all contained. If we come out of there, I did that qu very quickly, I'm sorry. Let me double click and come back into that leg graphic symbol. We can either come up here and go to scene, click scene up here to get out of that graphic symbol. Or if we're inside the symbol, we can just click on a blank spot and it takes us outside to our main stage. So now I actually have my arm and my leg uh, with the character pack inside. So you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the hand, making sure that it's lined up properly with your main hand shape. Same thing with the mouth. You're going to do the same thing with the mouth shapes so that it lines up with your uh, main mouth shape. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the video off again, do that, come back, and we'll discuss animating.